Yogurt, granola, and raspberry, 100 calorie. Hey guys, it's Steph, and I'm back with my healthy eating videos. I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is another non serious snack vlog that I'm about to do, y'all. I found something else I wanted to try on TikTok, so here we are again. I think I'm gonna try to, I might make this a series, y'all, especially if you send me some stuff to try. So, this is another one that I found that fits into my new diet, okay? So, don't try not to send me shit this. Too fattening, too many calories. So this is gonna be the Greek yogurt bark, y'all. I got a couple different ways I'm gonna be making mine. So let's just jump right into it because I've been wanting to try this since I saw it yesterday, okay? And it's gonna have to freeze for three hours. I should have made it yesterday so I can have the freezed product done right now to eat. So I got a giant vanilla Greek yogurt by Chobani that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna start off with a cup and a half of that. I think most people that I've seen have just used like plain Greek yogurt and then they add vanilla to it. I'm not gonna add vanilla since I already have the vanilla flavor. And a cup and a half is gonna be 270 calories y'all. But this is gonna make a big thing of the bark so the piece, the piece you decide to eat for your snack is not gonna be anywhere near that amount. I'm very curious about how this tastes so I want to just see how it tastes right now. It's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to add two teaspoons of Manuka honey to this. It looks like it already has hardened a lot, so I'm going to... Let me go microwave. Okay, I'm back with my two teaspoons of warm Manuka honey. Uh, ooh, a little hot. I kind of like doing the last video, which was... What did I do it? The apple nachos. I like that I had tried them first, y'all, and I knew I, they were going to be really good. This, I have no idea if I'm going to like it or not. If you tried this before, let me know if you like it. What you put on yours, because I see people putting all kind of stuff, y'all. All kind of different berries and granola. I think the granola would have been good. Now, with this, you want to just spread this. Some people do a cookie sheet. I just have a plate and some parchment paper. So, you lay down your parchment paper. Three hours later. So spread as much as you want, depending on the thickness you want your bark. I'm not gonna put it all down yet because I'm not really familiar with how thick what amount will do. So let's just take it slow. Let's taste it with the manuka. Mm. Okay. It's not super duper sweet. So if you want it really, really sweet, I would say add a little bit more honey than what I did. But I am going to be adding a couple other sweet items to it, so I don't think it needs to be super sweet. I'm going to go ahead and try to use all of my yogurt. Okay. There we go. This is really fun. I used to love cooking before we started doing buck bombs. We cooked a lot more. So this is like bringing back some happy memories. <laughs> and... I like to be creative too, so this is fun. Hope I don't have the layer too thick. But I saw one, one girl, her shit was thick as hell, so I, I'm confident that it's still gonna be okay. Probably just take a little longer to freeze, but I'm gonna kind of split mine into four sections because I wanna do four different types. So just to keep myself a little organized. So my first one, I have one teaspoon of peanut butter here, you guys. I'm gonna drizzle that on two pieces because I want two pieces to have the peanut butter. Make sure your peanut butter is warmed up a little bit if you want it to drizzle right. I tried to make something the other day with a, with a peanut butter drizzle with some unheated peanut butter and it was just like clumps. <laughs> okay, but it will drizzle very nicely if you heat it up a little bit. Okay, so I didn't even have to use all of that peanut butter. I think that's enough for me. So I'm gonna probably say half a tablespoon is what I use when I do my calorie counting. Okay, so on one of these, I'm gonna put some chocolate chips. Peanut butter, half a tablespoon of peanut butter is 50 calories. So I'm gonna keep track of how much I'm adding on here, you guys. You remember, I'm trying to do two to 300 calories um, snacks. Okay, so 
On this, I'm gonna put a few. These are two calories per chocolate chip. To this side, I'm just gonna put only chocolate, no peanut butter. I thought it would be interesting to add some sea salt to one of them. Let's add a little sea salt to the chocolate chip. Also have some raspberries here, you guys. Raspberries are one calorie per berry. So that doesn't really add much to it, honestly. So knock yourself out with the berries. <laughs> On this side, I think that's it. Maybe I'll throw some, let me get some granola. All right, so we'll add a sprinkle of granola on this one very little i'm using kind healthy grains this is the peanut butter clusters these are delicious y'all i'm not a big fan of peanut butter snacks but this doesn't hardly even taste like peanut butter to me so if you don't like peanut butter you probably like that as well all right i think i'm good what y'all think it's hard to see with all the with the brightness of the light but we're going to freeze this for three hours and we're gonna come back and taste it. Hopefully it's delicious. All right, y'all, it's been three hours. We're about to try it out. It looks great. <sighs> Let's see. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I did a good job or not. So first thing I need to do is cut this. It looks really icy. Sounds icy. I think I may have made it too thick, especially in the middle area. I'm just cutting it because I want to keep all the sections separate. So now we're gonna break them up to look more barky. Think I made this way too thick, yeah. I don't know, I saw somebody else's that was pretty thick though, so I don't feel too bad. All right, so at this point you just break them and make them look barky. Use less yogurt, y'all. I'm gonna say that. Ugh, okay, that was like hot mess. It looks delicious I to me. It up. It looks great. Let me give you all the calorie stuff. Okay, so for the yogurt, peanut butter, and raspberry, that's oh. this one. This is 95 calories for that one square. So, you know, this little piece is probably what? 20 calories, 30? So for the yogurt, peanut butter, and chocolate, this one is 100 calories. For that whole square though, not, no. Mm -hmm. Yogurt, granola, and raspberry, 100 calorie squares. And then, um, the last one, which is this one, sea salt, chocolate, yogurt, 75. All right, I'm gonna start with the most basic one, y'all. Sea salt, chocolate chip, and yogurt. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Uh. Well. Mm. Oh, no, I don't like mm. First of all, I hate the chocolate chips on it. The yogurt. Uh. I see why people use a lot of honey. Uh, the person I saw used two tablespoons of honey. Mm -hmm. I used two teaspoons. Oh. I should have used the two tablespoons, y'all. Mm -hmm. I was trying to make it not so. <coughs> it's still tangy, basically. So if you like a tangy-ish snack, you'll like this. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter, yogurt, and um, don't eat me. You ain't gonna like it. I, I don't care. Here I'm you go. Try it anyway. Ooh. This was a fail, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's okay. No, I like it. I'm gonna try to make this again, though. I think I know what I need to do. Put one on okay. it? Mm hmm. Mm. Yogurt, raspberry, and granola. That one I feel like. I'm gonna try this. I really made a big mistake by not putting the, the honey. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. It's not sweet at all. Mm -hmm. But for people who like Greek yogurt by itself with with um, fruit, they'll like it. This is why I said I like to do stuff first mm -hmm. and then come over here, come on here when I have it mastered. But ooh, this is a bad thing to try for the first time. Maybe mm -hmm. you can do a raspberry one and you blend up the raspberry with the yogurt and then freeze it so it'd be a raspberry one that'll have the fruit sweet and mm -hmm. then you can put other stuff on it. Yeah. Some monk fruit too. Maybe um, I should have put some monk yep, fruit in it. You should have put uh, maple monk fruit, monk fruit. Yeah. Cause I didn't want, I didn't want to do too much honey. That's what the thing yeah. was. The monk fruit would've been it. All right, y'all. We gonna try these again. We are gonna try to master them. Make them taste it. 
It was definitely fun. If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. If y'all have any other TikTok snacks you want me to try, let me know. You can send me a DM at Steph Loves Love on Instagram. Until next time, only good vibes. Peace. Peace. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, no, this ain't no clickbait. Enjoy your life. Live it up. Don't let anybody get in your way. Like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. And put on your seatbelt. Because it's one hell of a ride.